David Berg is a well-known cult leader who died in 1994. He preferred to go by the name Moses David and claimed to be a prophet. He founded a religious movement which used to be called Children of God. Within the organisation, he was known as King David, Mo, Moses David, Father David, Dad, Grandpa and other such names to the members of the Children of God. The organisation itself was founded in 1968. It was later known as the Family of Love, the Family and currently is known as the Family International. David Berg called upon his followers to devote their full time to spread the message of Jesus' love and salvation as far and wide as possible. Berg also decried the dechristianization and decay of moral values in Western society. He claimed this cultural change was leading towards a new world order and setting the stage for the rise of the Antichrist. He lived in seclusion, communicating with his followers and the public via nearly 3,000 letters. His writings were often extreme and uncompromising in their denunciation of what he claimed to be evil, such as mainstream churches, paedophilia laws, capitalism and Jews. Despite such opinions, he wanted his readers to love the sinner and hate the sin. Despite his controversial views, his followers would argue that his writings, his opinions, are permeated with a love of God. He was a racist and a paedophile. There were numerous cases of sexual abuse, not least his own granddaughter, Mary Berg. She testified that David had in fact sexually molested her when she was a young teenager. Another of his granddaughters, Joy Ann, spoke on American television about being abused by David Berg. And his adopted son has spoken about Berg's deviant sexual activity involving a number of women and children. And there are many other reports in regard to David Berg and his sexual abuse of adolescents and young teenagers. He also predicted the end of the world on numerous occasions, perhaps using this fear to control his members. The idea of an apocalypse can be a powerful tool to keep the members of his organisation under control. His best known prediction was that a comet would strike the earth in 1974, would wreak havoc and possibly destroy humanity. He also predicted that California would fall into the ocean, that the tribulation would begin in 1989 and Jesus would return in 1993. And since his death, his organisation has continued as a remnant of his belief. In 1994 and 95, there were court cases brought against various members of the organisation, including some of its top leaders who had engaged in abusive sexual practices involving minors. And of course, one of the reasons why the sexual abuse of minors took place was down to the teachings of David Burke, who promoted the kind of abuse, the kind of activity that he preferred. Also, many of the members lived in communes, houses in which many families would live, people of all ages, and of course both sexes, and people who were very much devout to David Berg and his teachings would follow the supposed divine truth, the godly truth, as they saw it. It could be argued as well 
that the claims and ideas promoted by David Berg and the organisation encouraged certain individuals who were that way inclined to join the family. However, in more recent years, there has been considerable reform within the organisation. Even though it has the work of David Berg and various other leading members over the years, guiding it in certain directions, it is mostly a Christian perspective. 